Hey lovelies. So as I'm sitting here filming a different video about to edit this video, I realized I didn't do an intro for this Dollar Tree video and I do apologize. Like I literally just went straight in and doing the makeup. I do apologize for that. I don't know what happened. Well, I kind of do. I haven't filmed in like two weeks and it was because I got sick, mental health went downhill. I got laryngitis. Like it was like a whole thing. And then I got my period and then just everything got felt even worse. So I do apologize for that. And I didn't notice that. But this is me kind of doing my intro. So hi, welcome to another video. And basically for today's video, we're gonna be doing a Dollar Tree full makeup tested, of course. And I know you guys really love these videos and I really wanted to film this one because I had a ton of new goodies that I wanted to show you guys. And yeah, again, sorry for the random intro. I do apologize, but I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do enjoy Dollar Tree videos, make sure you hit subscribe. I promise they're definitely more professional than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but I hope you guys still enjoy it and I'll let you guys watch the video again. Thank you guys so much and let's get to it. Okay, sorry for the jump scare. I'm gonna start bare face today because I do have a sheet mask I wanna try out before we get into the makeup. This one, of course, is from Dollar Tree. This one is from Bio Miracle. It's their hyaluronic acid um, with glycolic acid infused bubble face mask. So ideally, it's just supposed to bubble up like this when you put it on. I've never tried a mask like this before, so I'm a little scared. It is, um, it is said that it is like a Korean kind of brand so i'm really excited because i love korean skincare so let's give this a try before we put anything on which is why i don't have any brows on so let's give it a go i bought it the other day and i did oh god i did put it in my skincare fridge so it should be nice and cool i am a little terrified to put this on but we're gonna do it anyway also headband today is from my coworker. she gave it to me for quiz points so that's why i am wearing it Oh God, how do I unwrap this thing? Also, I do apologize for any noise you hear in the background. There's a lot going on in my community. There's kids running around, there's landscapers outside. There's two like different companies actually, people screaming, but I do apologize if you hear any of that. But let's go ahead and put this bubble mask on. Oh, it's a little cold. Um. It smells like soap, so I don't know how I feel about that. I have been wearing a lot of sheet masks lately, just because I know sheet masks are really great for plumping up your skin. It feels really nice. Oh, it is starting to bubble a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. This is really weird. I think, oh God, I must have missed a spot. See, it's a little hard because I'm trying not to rip it. It's so thin that I can easily just rip it, but it's sticking onto my face pretty well. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. As y'all can see, it literally bubbled up. Like, it's very bubbly. It's really weird. I've never tried a mask like this before, so it's really weird, but let's go ahead and take it off and see what the skin looks like. I got some bubbles on my face. Hopefully this doesn't break me out or irritate me. But it didn't irritate me when it was on, so it should be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then we'll go ahead and start with the makeup. All right, so this is my face all washed. I haven't done any skincare yet, but I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. I think it looks good and my face doesn't feel like it's like stripped dry, if that makes sense. Because sometimes when you do like a really fragrance or really soapy kind of cleanser, it does tend to really dry you out and I actually feel pretty good. The skin looks a little glowy. Like, do you guys see that? A little bit of glow. Been, I think it feels good. I don't know if I'd try it again only because I just couldn't stand the scent of how soapy it was. But overall, I think it's a pretty good mask for the price and it stuck really well. You know how sometimes when you get face masks, they start to slide off, they don't sit right. That thing was on my face. Like, it was pretty good. So, um, before we get into the brows, I just want to see and look through my Dollar Tree makeup because I have been hoarding so much. Like, literally, I have all of this and, oh god, now it's all falling, and I have all of this. So, I don't know what kind of look we're going to go for today. We're trying to, kind of just going with the flow, seeing what happens. Um, I do have some new Be Pure items, some new Ioni lashes, some more skincare from Be Pure, and I have a lot of good stuff. There are children staring at me at the window. 
This video that I'm filming right now, I actually haven't filmed in like two weeks. The video prior to this, I filmed weeks ago and I've just been going through a lot of stuff with my health. So this is the first time in like two weeks that I have filmed. So if I'm a little rusty, I do apologize, but more videos will be coming soon. And I know you guys have been loving these Dollar Tree videos and hopefully I can find some more goodies for you guys. I also was curious if you guys wanted me to do like food ones. I've been seeing a lot of food ones from TikTok, people are shopping and actually really enjoying the food section from Dollar Tree. So let me know if you guys want me to do that. Maybe I can, I don't know, bake a cake, make some cookies, um, maybe make a meal that I would usually grab ingredients from like Smith's or Walmart and just do it from Dollar Tree and see what I can do. I think that would be a very interesting concept for you guys let me know all right brows are looking as good as they're gonna get i can't spend another 30 minutes trying to fix my brows so this is just what we're working with today and i also did my skincare so that's all done except for this part so i did want to try out this peppermint lip balm from well not lip balm but it's a lip scrub from be pure i love the lip oil from this same line and i really want to try this one and i also bought the lip scrubber to go with it so I do want to give this a try um but first i want to put on some primer that way while we're waiting for that to dry we can try this out but i'm going to go in with the be pure blurring face primer i feel like that this primer didn't really do anything for me up until one of you guys did mention in my comments that once i put it on it actually made a difference when you were watching and it's really hard for me to tell the difference with blurring face primers. Like, it's very rare that I can actually see a difference. But apparently, this one did blur my face out. So, we're going to apply this one, and then we'll go in with that lip scrub. All right, now while that's drying, let's go ahead and try out this lip scrub. I'm really excited. I wonder if it's going to be gritty, but I believe this is a peppermint lip scrub. So excited for this one. Comes in a nice little tube. I should do a full face of Be Pure one of these days because I feel like a lot of the new things that I love that I really, really love from Dollar Tree are from Be Pure. So I feel like I should do a full face of Be Pure makeup. That'll be really cool. At least once I get everything Be Pure. But let's go ahead and try this out. So it comes with little two sides here. I think I'm going to use the more finer side for the lip scrub. And ooh, it does smell like peppermint. I love peppermint. Oh God, can I squeeze it out? Ugh. Okay. Let's give this a try. All right, I really like how that feels. I really like this lip scrubber. I feel like it's definitely stimulating my lips as well to kind of give them a little bit of like a plump, which is typically what happens when you do a little bit of like a lip scrub. But I like the scrub. It really like melts away and get, like really hydrates my lips too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says you can wash it off with warm water or you could just use a towel. I'm just gonna use this makeup wipe. That's a little dry. I'm just gonna take this off. For foundation, I think I want to go with a little bit of a cocktail of my two favorite foundations from Dollar Tree. They're both from Be Pure, of course. This one is the Hydrating Serum Foundation, and this one is the Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. So I kind of want to give a little bit of a mix just for fun. I don't think I've done that yet, so I'm going to do that. But I really want to use this little beauty sponge from Be Pure. It's their antimicrobial makeup sponge. It's infused with silver. And it says the silver is supposed to help keep the sponge cleaner and fresher for longer. Not sure if that's true. I don't know anything about that. I just know that it's a really cute sponge and I want to use it. I typically don't use beauty sponges anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway in case you guys like to use beauty sponges for your makeup. I found an affordable one. No more spending $20 on a beauty blender. No more of that. That is so expensive. Like, that is insane. I haven't bought a beauty blender in years. Like, it's been a very, very long time. So, we're going to be buying very affordable makeup sponges because I feel like we forgot to wash them and we end up throwing them away anyway because then they get moldy and gross. So, why do you have to spend so much money on a beauty blender? I don't know. But, I mean, to each their own. But, I'm going to show you guys this little sponge after it's wet. So, this is the sponge dry. And now, this is the sponge wet. Still really squishy. It's not hard at all. It feels really nice. I really like the sponge. It reminds me of the Sonia Kashuk one from Target. It's really cute. And then, we'll go ahead and go in with the butt of the sponge. This is probably going to take away a lot of the product. So, I might have to add a little bit more, which is why I like using a brush better. But, we'll see. Oh, wow. This is doing a really good job. That looks really pretty. I think this sponge is great. It didn't take away too much of the product. I think it made my foundation look really, really good. I mean, the foundation already looks good in general, but 
the sponge did a really good job. I really, really like that. So if you really want a really good makeup sponge, you need to grab this one from Be Pure. It's really good. See how it works with blending out concealers. So we're going to go in with the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. I think it does a pretty good job. That looks pretty. This sponge is really good. Like, I am loving it. It feels very pillowy when I'm bouncing it on my face. It's just so squishy. It's blending everything out so well. It's not soaking up a lot of the product. It just looks so good. Like, I'm really happy so far. Let's go ahead and do some cream contour with my favorite contour stick from LA Colors. I've really been loving this. And I even wear it on my days when I just want a little bit of something. Because it blends so easily and it looks so natural. Like, you really can't go wrong with this contour stick. So pretty. I want to try blending it out with a sponge as well. I haven't used a sponge to blend out this product yet. And it's actually doing a really good job as well. Now it's time to test out this really cute cream blush from Be Pure. I really love the color. It's the color Late Night. I really, really like it. It just seems like a color that I would wear on the daily. So let me take it out. And I think, again, I want to try using the sponge and see if that works out. It did have two colors in this line. They had this color and then they had a red color that I personally am not into. I don't like really bright red anything. I, I can pull off a cool tone red. But most of the time, those are very rare to find, so I don't really use those. I really like the packaging of this, giving me essence vibes. But let's go ahead and use the sponge as well. And we're just going to take some on the butt of the sponge. See if I can get any product. Doesn't look like I am, but you really have to dig in there. And apply it. Ooh. It's a lot lighter. But I don't know if it's because I'm using the sponge. But that looks really pretty. Like, I'm just going to add a little bit more. Because I feel like it's not giving me as much pigment as I want. Which is not a bad thing. Because I feel like a lot of people don't like really intense blushes. And I don't think this one's intense at all. I think it looks really soft, really pretty. Kind of like a natural kind of color. Obviously not natural like my skin tone, but let's just not too much, if that makes sense. And I can obviously keep adding more, but I think this is a good stopping point. Like, this is really pretty. And then it says you can use this on your lips as well, but I have another product I want to use on my lips today, which you guys already know is also from Be Pure. I'm going to set my face now with my favorite pressed powder from Be Pure, the Essentially Ageless uh, Blurring Pressed Powder. Very, very similar to the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Pressed Powder. Almost the exact same thing. It's just so good, except this one isn't as fine. It doesn't break as easy. The, the next one breaks so easy, but this one, I've used this so many times and it's still there. It's still going strong, only $1.25. Really, really good pressed powder. And uh, to use it, actually, I want to use these. Aren't these so cute? These are mini powder puffs. They're from the brand Sassy and Chic. So excited to use these. Like, I'm a little skeptical, but let's open them and see what they look and feel like. I thought this would be a good thing to use to like set my makeup. This feels very weird. It does not feel like a little puff. It doesn't feel like a velour puff. So I guess that's where I'm getting it confused, but it pretty much just fits in your finger and you use it to set your face. So let's get some powder onto this little puff and hopefully it works. I got some product on there. I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and blend out these creases before I set them. And then we'll test it out. I don't like these at all. Yeah, no, these are gonna be a no. They're cute, but the material just doesn't do it for me. So I'm just gonna grab the other side of the sponge and just do it that way and see if that works. I typically don't use sponges with my powder products, but that sponge was already breaking my makeup apart. I don't like the material of it. It's just not it. So we're just going to do this instead. Okay, I think I was able to save the base because that was just going wrong really fast. I don't like them at all. It's this material. I feel like the Velour Puffs are a little bit better. This just feels like, I don't know, this just feels like it's more for like cream and not for powder. Maybe I'm just using them wrong. Maybe it's just me. But I thought that like puffs, you can use them on anything. It doesn't really say. It just says for precise makeup application. Definitely not for powders. It's just 
it just didn't work. So I used the sponge instead. And I think I want to brighten up my face a little bit more. So I'm going to take this um, green tea infused little powder from Be Pure. I'm just going to grab a little bit of it on the sponge and just kind of brighten this section up just a little bit to clean up the contour. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of it and put it underneath my eye. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I feel like it brightens up the eye a little bit and kind of blurs it a little bit more. For bronzer, I am taking LA Colors Matte Bronzer in the color Bronze Beauty. And to apply it, I'm actually going to use this brush from Dollar Tree that I got in my last haul. And I've been loving it. I've been using it with my Juvia's Place bronzer as well. And it just applies bronzer so well. It's kind of big for bronzer, not going to lie. But I feel like since I'm not contouring, I can kind of go a little ham and just add a little bit of warmth and i really like it it's super soft for blush i actually want to try out this brand i have yet to try them i have two blushes from them this one is the brand starry i believe it's the precious mineral lightweight blush this one's in the color natural glow i just thought this would be a perfect color to pair with the cream blush so let's get this open. I always forget to grab my scissors because I forget with claws, I cannot open things. Now, if you guys have seen my videos before, you guys know I love my Be Pure blushes. I love my Ioni blushes. Oh, I love those. So let's see if this brand is just as good. So we're going to grab some on the brush and hopefully it's not too pigmented. And just apply some. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's giving me a little bit of color, but it just looks so, I don't know how to explain it. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of like a glowness to it and not too much. And I like it. I really like that for like a more natural kind of look. Ioni blushes can be really, really intense, like super pigmented blushes. So if you want something a little bit softer, these starry ones are pretty good. And um, the beeper ones aren't as pigmented either. So not, not bad. Not bad. And of course, going in with my favorite highlighter from Ioni. I love this one. It's from the Ethereal Youth Collection. So good. So glowy. Very, very intense. So I'm trying not to use a lot. Oh, God. Too late. I was trying not to use a lot. But here I am using a lot. <laughs> okay, let's add a little bit of eyeshadow just to kind of match the rest of the face. This one is from LA Colors. They have different kinds of uh, color stories in these little palettes, little six pan palettes, and they come with these little brush that we're not going to use because I don't like using those. Um, these just would be crease proof, long lasting kind of eyeshadow. So let's see if they are pigmented and how they blend. This is what the packaging looks like. Looks really pretty. I just want to go straight in and go in with like a deep color. I don't really know what I want to do yet, but I know I like to go deepest to lightest. So we're going to start with a deep shade first and see see what we got working here. They all look like shimmers, so it's probably going to be a shimmery kind of look today, but I'm going to grab some on like a chubby flat brush and we're just going to do what I usually do and just apply some here. What we got working with so far, I do blend out the edges, you know, I go darkest to lightest. So I'm going to grab a brush like this. I don't really know what this one is called, but this one is from Morphe. It's the M433. I sound like a 2016 influencer, but that's literally what this brush is. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm basically going to grab, I think, which shade would be the next one? Would it be this one? Yeah, this one's what it looks like. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and just blend out the edges here. I start at the corner and then I make my way in, but typically I like the darker shades to hit over here. And then just kind of blend it out. You can see the edges are already softening up a little bit. So again, I'm going to grab a little bit more of that color. And just start lightly blending these edges out. And then to soften it up a little bit more, I'm going to grab a smaller, kind of more fluffier brush. And I'm going to take, I think, the shade right here and just put it on the outer sections here to just kind of ombre that a little bit more. I personally love lower lash eyeshadow. I know a lot of people don't like putting mask, um, eyeshadow there, but I do. So I'm going to put some on. I'm going to use my little shader brush and I'm just going to take the two deep shades, which was this guy and then this guy and start from the end and just 
add some to that lower lash line. I really like the look of it. I feel like it makes the eyes look a little bit more smoky, a little bit more sultry. You know, I just feel like it just ties the whole look together, in my opinion. Like, I just think it looks good. Okay, I really like how that came out. Even though I'm not a fan of shimmers, this is basically all shimmers. I just feel like it looks really pretty. I think the colors built up really nicely. They're not patchy. They blend it out pretty easily. They're not the most pigmented shadows, but the way that they blend it, the way that they just mesh together and that they're not patchy, they're just beautiful. They're not flaking. For the $1.25 price, it's not bad, and it's really not a big deal to just build up the color because it is buildable, which is really pretty. So... I'm not mad at it. This is really cute. And of course, before we do our finishing touches and before mascara, we're going to set our face with the La Mercerie Matte Finish Setting Spray. All right, while we wait for that to dry, let's go in with the Satin Lipstick from B. Pure. This is from their Clean Beauty line. I got the shade Nude and looks like it's going to be like a pinky nude. And I hope it looks good. I'm going to try putting it on without lip liner and hopefully I don't regret it, but we shall see. But it's a bullet lipstick. Don't know if that color is going to look good on me, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, God. Um, I don't think this is my color. That is way too pink. Uh, this is like a, I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, no. We're going to try a different lipstick on. I have a lot of options. If you like this kind of color, you'll, you'll probably be into it, but it's not. I feel like it needs a lip liner. Do you think? I feel like it does, but I feel like I want to try to stick to Dollar Tree and I don't have to use my other lip liners. So I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to try a different one. Let's try this color that I haven't tried yet from LA Colors. I love these lipsticks. They are literally so good. I wear them all the time. Really, really good. I'm going to try this color. This one is in the color Natural Shine. So let's see if this color will work better. This one looks better as far as like a color that I would wear. I feel like it needs, I need a lip liner. I think it's just me needing a lip liner because I am so obsessed with lip liner that I feel like lip liner definitely makes a difference. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't go, does it? I'm going to try to find a lip liner. I'm going to have to because I cannot make this work. That looks a little bit better. That was... I needed a lip liner and I'm so sorry, but this is the lip liner I use. It's my MAC lip liner. I know that's cheating. I do apologize, but I needed a color like this to kind of bring it together a little bit. And I think it did. So now we're going to do some mascara and then some lashes. This is going to be my lashes and a mascara combo right here. I'm going to try this mascara out. It is from the brand Beauty Intuition. And I've never tried this brand before. This was like part of the new Valentine's Day collection, little setup. So I wanted to give it a go. And of course, some Ioni lashes as always. This one is in the style. What is it? It's the Wispy Natural Light Crisscross Cat Eye. I guess it's called After Party. I don't really know, but this is what it looks like. I think this is also from like a Valentine's Day collection because um, I found these in like a Valentine's Day kind of like end cap, if that makes sense. So I grabbed like three and this is one of them. So I think that'll be a really pretty combo. So this one's supposed to be a really voluminous mascara. It does say to apply two coats of mascara to the upper and lower lash without letting the first coat dry to avoid clumping. So literally I have to do one section at a time and hopefully this doesn't irritate my eyes. Oh God, I already don't like the brush. This is what it looks like. She looks thick. Let's try it on my good lashes. This one's my short ones that don't like to grow out very well because I sleep on this side a lot. So this one's my good lash. So let's try it and kind of pretty much apply the two coats like they said on the directions and see if that works better. Because you guys already know, I struggle trying to find a really good mascara from Dollar Tree I've had very bad experiences um I feel like this isn't coating anything let's try to grab some more and do that second coat because I feel like that first coat didn't do anything <laughs> like at all okay this is definitely not the best my lashes have looked I feel like they look a little funky but they're good enough for now but this is basically the finished look what do you guys think this time I actually really do enjoy the complexion I think the complexion looks really good and I think it's a really huge thank you to this makeup sponge which I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10 this is beautiful I love this this is so good only a dollar 25 for a makeup sponge like you shouldn't be spending more than that like this is really really good so if I find more I gotta stock up because 
Oh, I love it so much. Um, so let's go ahead with the rest of the products that are favorites and then not so favorites. Of course, I'm not going to include the products that you already know that I love. So first thing we're talking about is the eyeshadow palette. I think this is a really pretty eyeshadow palette. Just like I mentioned, it's not the most pigmented, but you can definitely build up the color. It blends so easily. They just go on and they just melt so beautifully together. Like they're really pretty. Again, they're all mattes. I mean, all shimmers, sorry. There's no mattes in here. So if you're wanting more of mattes and shimmers together, this is not your palette. It's basically all shimmer, like... But I think the eyeshadow look that we came out with today is really pretty. Yes, I did cheat and put a little bit of that pink crown in there, like I mentioned. I really wanted to put pink liner, and I'm very sorry, but you definitely do not have to do that. I just feel like I really, really wanted it, so I did put it on. So just ignore that, because, oh my god, what is that? Is that eyeliner? This is eyeliner. So sorry, I'm so gross. Anyways, this is a really good eyeshadow palette, and I do have the other colors that I do want to test out in the future, but I think this is beautiful, especially if you want mauve tones. I actually really did like this blush from Starry. I'm really excited to try out the other shade that I have. The other one I have is more on the peachy side, but I really, really like this. So beautiful. I actually did enjoy the uh, cream blush from Be Pure as well. I do prefer the liquid blushes from LA Colors just a little bit more. I just feel like I like the color better, but I feel like this combination really gave me a really pretty blush kind of combo over here. I think it's gorgeous. Really, really nice. Very not super natural, but it's very it was very buildable, very creamy, and it just looks gorgeous. Like I love it. Um, I am not a fan of the color of the lipstick from the Clean Beauty line from Be Pure, but I think the formula was really nice when it was gliding on. Um, I do definitely prefer the LA Colors lipsticks a lot better. I have a bunch of them and I am in love with them. Definitely one of my favorites. I absolutely love, of course, the peppermint lip scrub and the little scrubber that came, um, they didn't come with it, but it's pretty much from the same line. I love it so much. It is really, really good. Like, I think it definitely prepped my lips. My lips don't feel dry. They feel really plump. They feel ready for makeup. They just felt so good. So if you guys are looking for something like that, but don't want to spend an arm and a leg on like a lip scrub, like this is so good. I used to really like the e.l.f. lip scrubs, but this one's definitely replaced it. It is really good. And I feel like you get more for the buck, like $1.25. And then I just got this on the side. You definitely don't need this, but I, um, I just wanted to try it out in case you guys wanted to try something thing and want something a little bit stronger than just like your hands and I think this and this is definitely a really good combo and the two things that I absolutely did not like from today is another bad mascara from Dollar Tree if you guys know a good mascara can you please let me know because I still cannot find a good one from Dollar Tree and I'm really trying to find some for you guys and I just been testing these out and they're just not working so I don't know if I'll ever find one, but this one's just not it. Not into it. Didn't do anything for me. And I absolutely do not like these little sponges. I think that they just messed up my makeup. They're not great with powder. Maybe they'll be good with cream products. So maybe we'll keep a few of these and try them out in the future for cream products. So I'm just going to throw them in here. But as far as powder goes, you're better off going to like Ross and getting a big pack of like Velour Puffs. Those definitely do a much better job than these things. It's not worth it, even if they're $1.25. Definitely not worth the price. And yeah, that's basically all of the new stuff that I tried out today. And with all my other Dollar Tree goodies, I did end up coming up with this look, which is kind of ironic because it's like February. So it's going to be like kind of like Valentine's Day a little bit. So let me know if you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what kind of products I should try out next or what kind of Dollar Tree videos or just any videos in general that you guys want to see. Please let me know. Let me know. Please let me know down below and I'd be very happy to film those for you guys. And I think that's everything from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate you and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.